selected as the best picture nominee. Oh, how's that been nominated? What about the Lego movie? I mean, who even picks these things? Well, Josh, it's a complicated process, but Collider Crash Course is here to explain it for you. Who are you? Oh, God. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences is made up of around 7,000 filmmakers and film professionals. The organization itself is divided up into 17 specific branches. There's a branch for actors, a branch for directors, one for editors, so on and so forth. I'm sure the lighting guys get one too. Nominees for each category are selected by votes from members of these specific branches. For example, only actors get to select the nominees for the acting categories, and only directors get to select the nominees for the best director category. In other words, you only have fellow directors to blame for that Ben Affleck snub, not the Academy at large. For almost every category, a voting member submits a list of no more than five nominees for his or her individual ballot. However, Best Picture is different because it's Best Picture. With that one, everyone gets to vote. Each voting member must submit a list of between five and ten nominees. That's a lot of homework. So now, how exactly do we turn all these ballots into nominations? Well, it involves math, so get ready for this. When submitting a list of preferred nominees, Academy members rank them according to preference. The nomination ballots are initially sorted based on the voters' first place ranking. Got it? So if a potential nominee scores enough first place votes, sometimes called the magic number, it becomes an official nominee and you win the National League West. This magic number is reached by taking the total number of ballots received per category and dividing it by the total number of possible nominees plus one. I told you there's math. If a selection receives this magic number of votes or more, it becomes a nominee. For example, say the magic number is 333 and Leonardo DiCaprio wins 337 best actor number one votes for having sex with a bear. In this case, he automatically becomes a nominee. But now, what happens to everyone's second, third, fourth, and fifth place choices? After the first pass, the accountants, nope, not that accountant, real Pricewaterhouse Cooper's accountants sort through the remaining ballots, tough job, and remove the stack with the fewest votes. Let's use Adam Sandler as an example. No, really, let's use Adam Sandler as an example. Say Adam Sandler's performance in Grown Ups 2 received the fewest first place votes, two, and that would be the case. That means he didn't hit the magic number and those ballots are redistributed according to their second place choices. So say one of those ballots has Forrest Whitaker at number two and the other one is Ryan Gosling at number two. Tough choices. This means the Forrest Whitaker pile gets another ballot and the Ryan Gosling pile gets another ballot. If either of those actors hit the magic number after this process, great, they get a nomination. Now let's say Tyler Perry has the second smallest pile with just three number one votes. A travesty, really. Those ballots are then reassessed according to their number two pick. Daniel Day-Lewis is number two on one, so there's another ballot for his pile. Matt Damon is number two on another one, so he gets one as well. But what happens if Adam Sandler is number two on the third? It could happen. He's already been eliminated, so then we move on to the number three spot on that ballot. Eddie Redmayne! Congratulations, Eddie! Now Eddie Redmayne's pile gets another ballot. The ballots continue to be redistributed in this manner until we have our five nominees. Still with me? Good. Once all the ballots have been tabulated and the nominees are named, new ballots are sent out to every Academy member. After the nominees have been chosen by that category's experts, everyone gets to vote on every category. So after the final list of nominations is announced, Brie Larson gets to vote for not only Best Actress, but also for all the other categories. I hope she saw every movie. So while the nomination process is shepherded by experts in every category, the final winners are chosen by the esteemed members of the entire Academy. And that, folks, is how Oscar history is made. Gee, thanks, Ken. You're a real great guy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you want to see what else is on? Yeah, cool. Maybe you should check out Collider's other videos. Subscribe to the channel. Check out Movie Talk every day. Uh, you could also see uh, TV Talk. Okay, okay. Thanks, Josh.